Chapter 4. Leader Alumbro Alumbro do, Miscellaneous, Personal, Vegetarianism, Fasting, and Dry Fasting. I, Man and the Universe. Text, Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 to 31. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto a one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he sees, and God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself, upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself, after his kind, and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days, and years, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night, he made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness, and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great whales, and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly, after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind, and God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle, and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind, and it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Twenty-ninth and God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life. I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and, behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Brethren, in this generation the Holy Spirit is personified. His mission on earth is to return man to his original position in the Garden of Eden. From the beginning of things, it was not God's intention that man should kill any animal to eat as food. From the foundation of the world, God has not decreed that man should eat meat, fish, or bird. Man was only given seeds and fruits as food. But by transcending the ancient landmark, man has now disobeyed the ordinances of God. Upon his aspiration to know all the mysteries of life, and to acquire all the wisdom of the world, man is still ignorant. Human beings are blind and deaf in spite of their various academic attainments and mundane discoveries. I want to reveal to you that there is no other thing in existence apart from the word which is God. 
Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 to 31 tells us that God created heaven and earth. He had no deputy in carrying out these activities. Animals, birds, water, fishes etc. Are angels as well as God. God created everything in the universe. Day, night, fishes, birds, other animals, trees, water, air, sun, moon, stars, fruits and other things. Now that you walk on the ground, what do you think the earth is made of? It is the word. Who is the word? The word is God. Therefore, earth, water, sun, moon, trees, fishes, and other things are the word, which invariably make them gods. In short, all God's creations are God himself. When you hear that God is omnipresent, it means he is in each of his creations. Hitherto, when you were not led to this wisdom of the truth, you were superstitious, and called certain animals juju or voodoo. You even identified the snake as Satan, and some big trees in the forest you named totems. The likeness of God is in each of his creation. It is said, man know thyself, and thou shalt know all things. The leaf that you pluck is spirit, and since the spirit is God, the leaf is God. If you know yourself, you will never pluck the leaf of a tree. The spirit is the word, and the word is life. The creations of God had been in existence from the foundation of the world. All the images you see in the dreams represent the spirit of the actual object in the terrestrial plane. When you hear that God delegated power to man to govern and rule over other creations, it is God himself who rules through man. Man is only a figurehead. The main difference between human beings and other creations is that man is endowed with the power of reasoning, while animals and others live by instinct. If God were not ruling his creations through human beings, man alone would not have had the power to control such animals as elephants, leopards, tigers and other dangerous animals. God made man superior to other creations of his but all of God's creations have the same spirit of God which is the word. The composition of man, the earthly house that a human being dwells in is made up of water, blood, and spirit. Water occupies about three quarters of the human body. The three elements are one. Whenever the word becomes flesh, and dwells among men, he is made of the word, Holy Spirit, and the Father, and the three are one. 1 John chapter 5 verse 7. The stones, trees, sand, wind, birds, fire, insects and others are all gods, and they have the capability to talk, walk, hear, and do everything, as human beings. They are spirits. All of them came into being by the word of God. The various roots and herbs that doctors use to prepare different concoctions have different spirits, when the mixture ferments. Each leaf or root has its own particular spirit that performs a specific assignment. When the native doctor plucks leaves to prepare his concoction, little does he know the spirits involved. Man is the house of God where all that we see in the dream dwells, sometimes birds or insects fly across somebody's head, and that person dies at the same time. You may, in ignorance, attribute the cause of his death to Juju or that the bird was sent by another person to kill that fellow. It was not sent by anybody, for birds and insects are angels of God, and they are capable of executing punishment upon evildoers. Sometimes you may pray over ordinary water that was drawn from the tap, and give it to a sick person to drink, and he becomes well immediately. Do you know who is in the water that heals a sick person? He is our Lord Jesus Christ. When you walk barefoot on the ground, the vibrations of the earth under your feet heals all your sicknesses, and solves all your problems. All these illustrations prove to you that God is in all things, and that he is the only one existing in diverse forms. There is nothing that exists on earth that did not first exist in the spirit world. All the designs for airplanes, cars, buildings, radios and other inventions exist in spirit, before they manifest in the flesh. Nebuchadnezzar had a dream, and he saw golden images. When he woke up, he assembled all his wise men, astrologers, magicians and soothsayers but they could not give the correct interpretation of the dream. He then threatened to kill them, if they failed to interpret the dream. Daniel came forth and gave the correct interpretation of the dream. The golden image is what the Roman Catholic Church worships when the bell tolls at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and 6 p.m., and members fall down to pray and make the sign of the cross on their foreheads. Man, man is the house of God, and inside him you have water, trees, fishes, fire, birds, snakes, tigers, elephants, houses, women, sun, moon, Abraham, Moses, Elijah, John the Baptist, and our Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, all the creations of God are found inside a human being. 
That is why sometimes, some of those things come out of a person. Therefore it is quite wrong for one to say I do this or that, but always say we do this or that, because you are a house that contains all God's creations. Leader Oobu does all things through the spoken word, when you are traveling on a long journey and you are thirsty, just say within you, I want water, and the water in you will form a stream. You will not travel up to two poles, before you see a body of water. That water came out of you. That is the reason, when you come before me, I always tell you to, go, I have given you a check, promotion, children, wife, husband, house, work, you are free from your case in the, high, court. Go, your sickness is cured. Why do you always doubt me? Whatever I say must come to pass. When our Lord Jesus Christ was on earth in his first advent, what did he use in healing and doing all the mighty works he performed? It was only the spoken word. What did God use in creating the universe? It was the spoken word. Why then do you doubt what you see in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, where words alone are used to accomplish almighty works which shake the world to its foundation? The Holy Father is omnipresent, as you sit down now, America, Britain, India, Germany and indeed, the whole world is within you. Do you have this wisdom? The whole world is in need of this revelation. As I am standing here with you in the flesh, I am also seen lavishly in the flesh all over the whole world at the same time. Does this mean, that I am alone? As I am lecturing you now physically, I am also giving this lecture in all planes of manifest, in the heads and both the living and the dead have received this lecture equally, as you have received. I am standing on the highest heaven giving this lecture to you. Sometimes in your dreams, you see houses, cars, lorries, fire, snakes, wine and other things. Whatever you see in the dream is living inside you. You are all gods. Read John chapter 10 verses 34 and 35, Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, ye are gods? 35, If he called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. There is no death, what you call death is terminologically inexact. Nobody dies, but what is only translated or transferred. Take for an instance, a snail which abandons its old shell, and later takes over a new shell. Another snail can occupy the abandoned shell. Therefore you cannot call an empty shell a snail, because the spirit is not there. The owner left the house and dwelt somewhere else. So it is with human beings. When the spirit moves out of the mud building, it dwells somewhere else. Brethren, God is a mystery, and no one can understand the works of his creation. Man can become a fish, stone, elephant, bird, tree, and later on he can change to human form again. As we all are congregating here in Bible class, we are walking somewhere else in the flesh. Brethren, it is the Father alone who knows the secret of his kingdom. As we are sitting down here, we all can disappear and change our forms to something else. People of the world sometimes confront you with the question that your leader does not travel outside, he is stationary. There is no need of my going out, since I know that I am omnipresent. That is, why you all see me in your different offices, farms, houses, physically and spiritually. Wherever a brotherhood of the cross and star is, whether they are as many as the sand of the seashore, I am always before and behind all of them at the same time. I am not only in your houses and offices in the flesh but I dwell also inside all of you. Any creation of God has its specific assignment, 1 Corinthians 12, God has a reason for creating all the things you find on earth, and each of them has its duty. The leaves, roots, barks of trees, sand, water, air, soil, and other things have their distinct duties. Day and night have their purposes. When the juju doctor plucks a leaf, for use, does God reveal to him the duty of that leaf? John chapter 3 verses 11 and 12. When people claim that they go to the cemetery to invoke the ghost to appear, it is a lie, because that spirit comes out from him. That is why, when brotherhood members come to your house to pray, and call upon my name I will come out from them in the flesh and they always see me. There is no need, while praying to face the east, or west, or south, or north. God is everywhere. The earth is his footstool and heaven is the throne of God. What type of a house can you build for him? Acts chapter 7 verses 47 to 50. Who created night and day? It is God. Who created the whites and the blacks? It is the same God. Why should the whites influence you with their color? Who is able among you to describe to me exactly who you are? 
when you pray over somebody, and he is not healed it means your words have no power of healing. And if you preach to somebody and the words pierce into his heart, he will repent and give testimony of the wonderful gospel. The words that you speak are not your own, there is somebody inside you speaking through you. You are only transmitting what he says. Do you know, that invisible person who speaks through you? Man existed before the creation of the world, man was already in existence before the foundations of the world were laid, that was, why God said, let us make man in our own image. It is only the framework that God created in the Garden of Eden but the spirit was already in existence. The only advantage human beings have over the animals is that God created them in his own image and appointed them overseers of other creations, otherwise the trees, animals, birds, wind, fire, would have challenged human beings. The trees, birds, water, sand, wind, insects, ground, all speak like human beings. They have water and blood like you. There is a certain tree which, if you touch or try to cut down, you die on the spot, because it is an angel. Sometimes in your dreams you see yourself flying like airplane or you see yourself dive inside water. God has different forms when he comes into the earth plane. He wears a human form in the midst of men. When he is among the trees, he becomes a tree. When he is among the fishes, he is also a fish. When he is among the flies, he is a fly. When he goes into the world of birds, stars, leaves, roots, water, wind, grass, and other creations, he becomes like one of their kind. Many people say that Adam is God but I tell you, if Adam were to be God why did he die? Brethren, God makes and and makes, there is no person to ask him any questions, because he has no deputy. When he opens anything, there is no human being or angel to close it, and what he closes, no one can open. He makes old things new and new things old. Romans chapter 9 verses 20 and 21. The trees and leaves have their special reasons to be used. Now, if you do not know the reason and the function of a leaf or root and you make use of it, you can kill yourself. If we do not use leaves or roots for the purpose God created them, they become poisonous. The problem in the entire world and brotherhood is ignorance of this fact. God has no origin. Now who can tell me the origin of God? From where did he come? The Bible says, in the beginning God created heaven and earth, but does not describe the position God stood when he created all those things. Whether God is a white man, black man or woman, the Bible does not tell us. John chapter 1 verses 1 to 5, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. The image of God is the word. Speak to the stones, trees, flowers, grass, animals, whether they will not answer you. Goats only have instincts, but they do not know how to discuss matters with one another, as human beings do. The image of God in a human being is the word he speaks. Therefore, I strongly disagree with all those who believe in the existence of mermaid, witchcraft and fetish. This is, because in the beginning, God created all things, he never created mermaid, witchcraft or juju. Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 and 27. Brethren, God created man in his own image and likeness, and delegated power to him to rule over all other creations, and name all of them. My question now is, since man occupies such a position of honor and authority, what did God himself control? Brethren, if God were not to be human, he would not allow man to govern and dominate all his creatures. God, Christ, and the Holy Spirit are human beings, man is the house of God. God is a human being, Christ is a human being. We abandon God to worship trees, stones, birds, mountains, rivers, wind, sun, moon, stars, and other low creatures. Why did God not delegate power to animals, birds, fishes, sun, moon, or angels to control and govern all things? The answer is that man is the house and dwelling place of God. All other creations are under man, and so, if you command a snake to bite somebody, it has to obey you, because he is under you. If you command thunder to destroy somebody's house or kill any person, it must obey you, because they are angels but on judgment they all the atrocities you have committed through the angels will count against you. God will not become any tree, fish, thunder, wind, snake, or any lower creature because of the havoc they create, but God can only become man. 
man suffers diverse tribulations because of his wrong use of the word. Since the ground, forest, trees, birds, grasses are human, when you walk on the ground they will look at you, and listen to your conversation but you do not know. When you go into the forest, all the trees and animals in the bush speak to you, and know your mission, but you do not know them or understand what they say. John chapter 3 verses 6 to 10. Three quarters of your body is made up of water. Where does the water come from, and where does the water go? Do you know where blood and the spirit come from? When you say that person is very fat, it is only water that fills his body. Sometimes a medical consultant will tell a patient that he is anemic, and needs blood transfusion. Why does he not create blood? When God completed his work of creation, he saw that everything he created was good. Human beings are strangers to themselves, why then do you accuse witchcraft, mermaid, devil, Satan, and Lucifer and call them evil? Does the scripture not tell you that dust will return to dust? When sand goes back to sand, who created the sand? Let us come home. As we are sitting down here, do you know where you came from, and where you are going to? Some of you now may be 20, 40, or 50 years old. Where were you, before you were born? As you all are here, are you going forward or backward? Since the foundations of the world were laid, is there any person who can tell you where he comes from, and where he is going to? And while he is alive on earth, can he tell you where he is going to? Does it mean that childhood marks the beginning of his existence on earth? Man had existed in spirit before the foundations of the world, but before he came into the earth he had to pass through the womb of the woman. The womb of the woman is the spiritual grave where all spirits pass to the terrestrial plane and become flesh. If the spirit does not pass through the womb, be the no corporal, he still exists in the spirit. As a spirit, he can melt away at will. Whatever you see in the spiritual world or the dreamland also exists on earth. As we are here, there are spirits always around us, and if you care for your children well, they will enter into the womb of your wife and become flesh. That is, why you sometimes say in the dream somebody gave me a male or female child. When somebody dies, the spirit moves out from the mud building or the flesh. When the flesh is put inside the coffin for burial, that spirit is physically there in another form laughing at you, and sometimes following you to the grave. Brethren, if you were to know that man is the likeness of God, and that it is impossible for God to die, then you will realize that nobody dies. It is foolishness to say somebody dies. However, do not be desirous to know more about this revelation. You cannot know the origin of God, and the mystery surrounding all his creations. You are free to travel to any part of the world, but whenever you go, love one another. Fruits and seeds for your food, brethren, I am very sorry for many of you who say, I cannot do without meat or fish. What do you think about your life, when you continue to eat meat or fish? From the beginning of the world God gave fruits and seeds as food to man in the Garden of Eden. Who has ever asked you to eat meat or fish? Brethren I have told you that animals, fishes and birds are human beings. Anytime you kill a billy goat for food, somebody must surely die somewhere in the world. You have therefore killed a man. When you kill a female goat, you have killed a woman or girl. All male animals represent men and female animals represent women. The ram Abel offered to God was himself, and that was the reason why after the sacrifice, his brother could kill him. All the fishes killed daily represent the number of human beings who die daily in various parts of the world. No matter how small a fish may be, he is a human being. And if you cut down a tree you have committed murder, because somebody must die somewhere. How many of you have this wisdom? Now we are back to the Garden of Eden, and so we must return to the former ways of life, as it existed in the Garden. If Adam were to obey the voice of God, and he had failed to eat the fruit of the forbidden tree, he would not have suffered death, but since he disobeyed God, all the creations of God turned around to attack him. So it is today with every one of you. If you do not kill any animal, bird, snake, they will never attack you. If you do not cut down trees, another tree will not fall on you and kill you. The trees, birds and other animals, waters and other creations are under the control of man. It is the duty of man to care for them and not to destroy them. Brethren, man is the house of God, and if somebody knocks you on your head, he knocks on the head of God. May my peace and blessing abide with the entire world now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you Father, 